city centre's got a lot of spots. Uh, most of the more popular ones, they're more difficult to skate. We used to skate Baggage Street and ESB up near Baggage Street, but they got shut down and skate stopped. You'll see things that uh, other people won't see in the architecture, like um, everything is just. Uh, you look at it different, like steps and stairs and footpaths and ledges and everything. They're everywhere. There's, there's literally, there's no shortage of things to skate. You can skate anything. Well, yeah, when you skateboard, you kind of size everything up. Like, um, like you'd be going by something on a bus, like a set of steps or like a, a big wall, and you'd be like, "Oh, that'd be really good to skate." And you kind of, you, you look. You, I think you kind of look at everything in a different way. You look at everything in relation to like, could you ollie up on it or could you do a trick off it? it? Depends on the person. I mean, if you're to they can take in the aesthetic beauty of anything. You know, the stuff you want to try on it, and like, you know, you'll, you'll remember places and remember where to go back. Uh, you don't want to be a nuisance to anyone, you don't want to intimidate people or cause any trouble. You just want to, you know, enjoy it and uh, put it to some other artistic use other than sitting on it. So, uh, try and skate it when there's no one there. Like, the general public, uh, they're, they're, they're very indifferent or like, like they obviously, they wouldn't think about it all the time unless they see a skateboarder and they don't like it. Or else they see a skateboarder and that looks like a if, if you're skating on your foot pad, generally you'll get people like, you know, hopping out of the way, even if you're not in the way, they'll just like, you know, they'll hear a big loud noise and move or, and I've had people tell me, you know, like, you know, shout at me while I'm going by, you know, you're not going to skate in the footpath or something like that, and I didn't stop me once, and like, you know, took my board off me and told me I wasn't going to skate in the footpath. I guess if everyone just kind of showed that they're just there to skate, they're not trying to cause trouble or anything, people would eventually kind of warm to it. Out on the street, there's like, you could be at a block for two hours and use that block in like 50 different ways. So like, if you have a whole plaza of stuff to do, it's a lot of that you can get out of it. Uh, the street. There's just more you can do. You know, it's more creative as well. They intimidate you, and uh, you just have to be as nice as Polly, and they'll, you know, they'll take your board from you and, and shout down your head and uh, threaten you and everything. Big like institution areas are like worse than say an area like the lower deck, where it's just like it's an open public space. They just say don't skate. The same as Wolfton Park, but somewhere like UCD or Baggett Street has paid security to look after the area, so you will get in trouble quicker. Security guards in certain places are really nice to you. And they'll tell you to leave nicely or ask you to leave nicely and say, come back when I'm not here, or things like that. Uh, other guys just try and throw their weight around and they're bored and they want to they get you in trouble because there's nothing else to do for the day. I still love it. There's kind of a feeling from skateboarding that you only get like, you know, when you're skateboarding. It's just, it's, it's, a, like, it's not really adrenaline, it's, kind of a, it's a special type of adrenaline that you just, you know, if you land something and it's perfect, you know, it's the best thing in the world.